Beats Obnoxiously. Hey, are YouTube, what's going on? I hope you're having a dope ass day today. It's your boy Alex, and I'm back today with another reaction video. And it's uh intense day, sad day. We lost somebody super incredible. Like, there's no adjective to accurately describe this individual. Eddie Van Halen passed away at age 65 today, and I thought it was only right to do a reaction. We're gonna be checking out the song called Panama today. This song supposedly started because Van Halen was criticized for a song solely about hard partying, hot women, and fast cars. Not bad thing to make music about. To which David Lee Roth responds, I take exception to that. I have never written a song about a fast car, but now that you mention it, good idea. The car is either a drag racer named Panama Express or Diamond Dave's Opal Cadet. So we're gonna dive right into it, man. Let's take a second to really, really pay our dues and pay our respects to Eddie Van Halen, the Van Halen family. So many people were touched by his music. So many people had their lives changed and improved, right? So, uh, somber day, literally just got chills. Uh, but we're gonna dive into it. Man. Link to the original video will be down below in the description. Y'all make sure to check it out if you want to. Rest in peace, Eddie. Um, we're doing this for you and much love. Link to the original video will be down below in the description. Y'all make sure to check it out if you want to. I apologize for this yellow ass light. Is that better? Huh, that may be a little bit better. I don't know. Okay, let's get it, man. Panama, Van Halen. Let's go, man. <laughs> That's badass. That's badass, man. Damn, look at that fucking crowd, bro. Oh my god. Switch up, holy shit. Yeah, we're running a little bit hot tonight. I can barely see the road from the heat coming up. Oh my god! Reach down between my legs. Ease the seat back. She's <laughs> Oh my Dude, talk about some showman, like. <laughs> Yo, 
That would be a fucking amazing concert to go to. If you've ever gone to a Van Halen concert, please drop a comment down below and just let me know what that experience was like. Try to capture the scene for me. Um, I literally just got fucking goosebumps, dude. Unbelievable, like their, their energy on stage is unbelievable, dude. It, it's so intoxicating, it makes me happy, it makes me smile, my cheeks fucking hurt from watching that. Dude, what a rush, man. Seriously, like being able to go to a concert like that and really experience that is just, it must be unlike anything else. I had heard that song before, it's been in like some movies and stuff that I've that I recognize but dude it's just what a fucking talented dude and that's the biggest understatement I could ever say right a shame that I didn't get more into his music while he was still alive it's a, it's a pity that people really appreciate the artist once that artist is gone I wish it wasn't like that but that's just the way it seems to be um 1984 dude that might be a whole I, that might have to be an album reaction man who knows if that's something y'all are interested in drop some comments down below I need to call my mom see what she has to say about that hello hello you're on camera. Oh, hi everybody. Hi Alex. I just reacted to Panama by Van Halen. Oh, did you hear about Eddie Van Halen? That's why I'm calling you to see what your thoughts are on that. Well, out of all the people in Van Halen, he was the best, you know? Yeah. I mean, he was cool. I don't like David Lee Roth. He's a jerk. Really? Yes. Why? He's an arrogant asshole. I've met him before. He thinks he's God's gift. He thinks his shit don't stink. You know Valerie Bertinelli? No. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, never mind. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, are you are you pretty are you torn up about that at all? Was he one of your favorite musicians or something? No, I mean Van Halen was never one of my favorite bands, but I always liked him. Yeah. You know. Do you know what he died from? Um, he had like throat cancer. Oh god. Like yeah, he had to have I heard today like um, most of his tongue cut out. Oh, God. Mac Davis died. He was another singer, not rock and roll or anything, but... Oh. Okay, well, I'll call you in a little bit. Okay, love you. Love you. Bye, Mom. Bye, honey. Dude, like, just rest in peace, man. Such an amazing, like, the eruption solo, that was unbelievable. I need to check out more of his guitar work because he's probably one of the greatest guitarists to ever do it, right? So, that being said, that's where you guys come in. Drop some comments down below. I know it's a sad day, but we gotta try to stay positive. You know, it's, it's hard to do that, but, you know, there's no other alternative. So, with that being said, that's where you guys come in. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this song, Eddie Van Halen, in this video in general. Let me know how he affected you, right? Did he make you start wanting to learn to play guitar? What happened? But that's all I got for you today, so keep smiling, keep being yourself. Don't let anybody throw shade at you. I will see you guys tomorrow. That's a motherfucking fact, though, yeah. Love y'all. Peace! Hey, either way it goes, I was born to be a screw-up. Do the wrong thing, and I'm gonna fuck you up. Okay, crew, got my back like pull-ups. Sipping on the liquor, but it goes straight through us. Squad full of killers and a swag like Jewish. You got a squad full of rats.